hi uh, welcome to learn you uh, channel um uh, hope uh, everyone is doing well uh, i realized that yesterday uh, recording was uh, not having proper uh, sound that's why i'm uh, re uh, i mean redesigning this uh, call and this uh, recording so that everyone knows uh, the video as well uh, so i apologize for the yesterday's one yesterday's recording so what uh, we are going to discuss about uh, this particular recording so this is all about power bi so everyone knows the power bi how the power bi is uh, what is power bi so where power bi does comes and all so basically power bi you know uh, bi in the sense it's a business intelligence business intelligence in the sense so there are different companies or there are different uh, kind of operations are happening throughout the world so it's a kind of uh, if you can say simply uh, we can call it as a business so business in the sense so suppose taking an example of supermarket uh, is one business and uh, uh, transportation is one other business and uh, real estate is one business and it's, 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 a, it's a kind of uh, uh, demonstration of different different categories so so in order to do and in order to achieve those kind of businesses you know uh, banking sector is also one kind of business so for all the things so we need to have some transactions so some transactions some data so all the data are related to business which uh, needs to be stored somewhere and which need to be analyzed and which need to be monitored for their business growth for that uh, for that we will be having business intelligence tools so uh, in the market will be having lot of business intelligence tools so here we are talking about uh, microsoft business intelligence tools so before this power bi will be having ms bi microsoft business intelligence that we will be talking uh, later while comparing this power bi to uh, ms bi so later on this power bi is a uh, power uh, of microsoft power of business intelligence which one of the uh, best tool to uh, monitor their business growth uh, in the visual format basically if you can say so uh, what does power bi so it is uh, basically one kind of cloud based environment where we can uh, build uh, interactive reports based out of different different kind of data sources it might be uh, oracle it might be server some I mean, on premises cloud based or you know flat files whatever uh, what not basically if you can say any kind of data sources we can connect simply to this power bi tool and you can extract your data and so uh, and you can re uh, build a report basically so once that report published into the service so you can save those reports to the end users basically it's a kind of business intelligence of uh, business intelligence of tool where uh, business can uh, be happened with the growth i mean they can able to analyze uh, the their uh, productivity growth business growth based on that they will have to, to take the decisions uh, whether uh, whether they can extend their business or whether they can what are all the problems all all the it's a base out of their data uh, within the visible format so that's where uh, this business intelligence comes uh, comes here so so we are going to talk about uh, um, you know uh, the other one so what are the components uh, available basically if you can say this is for in power bi will be having several parts and several components so we need to know all these things in order to uh, learn power bi in order to work power bi uh, completely so the first one is power bi desktop and the second one is power bi service and third one is power bi mobile and then report server so you can ignore last two as of now so we'll be talking about desktop and service so power bi desktop is like it's a free version of power bi tool which we can be downloaded so it's a binary file basically it is a software of that dot uh, ex file it's executor file it's a free version it will be available in the micro microsoft store you can go and download and install so that this does not require any license or this does not require any uh, payment kind of things so once you download and you can play with this desktop so with a different kind of data sources this might be on premises it might be cloud and then come to the power bi service so this is completely the cloud environment uh, which you need to access uh, the the url uh, like app dot 
the power bi dot com basically if we can say so that's where so we need to once uh, i mean basically this we can say a uh, cloud and it will be having some storage so storage for the data and uh, it will give uh, flexibility to having multiple features we'll be talk about those features in the later sessions so this is basically you can say you know use easy to read and easy to share the reports to your end users and then once uh, that is completed and so make sure that whatever the organizational email you are working in desktop logging into desktop and then that the same should be in the service then only it will be recognized that i'll show in the later sessions how to create the organizational email id if you don't have a company email and how to create organizational email in order to log in this so in the service you will get a 60 days free trial so <clears throat> 60 days free trial is enough for you to practice so then come to the power by mobile so it will be available in the google play store and uh, you know android play store and uh, uh, I mean ios play store so you can go download and you can uh, sign in with your uh, account what what account you use it in the service then you can use that same account you can view your reports in the mobile itself that is the use of power by mobile and the report server reports are basically as of now it's not required but anyone of using sql server reporting services uh, that's a part of microsoft business intelligence earlier that would be so would like to use those reports into power by server then in that case use or by report builder to publish SSRS reports into Power BI report server. That's where this this Power BI report server and Power BI service is completely different. Report server might be in the on premises and Power BI service is completely on cloud. So then, what are all the prerequisites for Power BI? If you would like to learn, so if you are in a graduate, so you don't need to know anything. Then that's it. So the, there is no much coding required here, and uh, what you have to do, do just listen the content and do the practice carefully and you can um, achieve and do the practice and you can take the different different kind of scenarios that's where you'll be able to achieve your uh, content so that's where uh, power bi uh, you can easily learn power bi but there is some coding it's not a complete coding it's a kind of uh, dax expressions basically data analysis expressions are there the basic requirement used to create that that i'll uh, talk about in the later sessions i'll uh, i'll let you know how can we use the dax and where the dax comes into the picture so that's not so request is it if you are a graduate and if you are interested to learn power bi that's enough to quick start your uh, learn learning of this uh, power bi with our learn you channel so uh, who are not interested who are uh, trying to listen uh, for uh, you know time force uh, it doesn't help you at all so everyone is saying that power bi is so easy but power bi is look like easy but it's a complicated so every organization is there to work on this power bi things yeah that's all for uh, today's session so um, i think uh, everyone is doing well and this session will be having proper uh, uh, audio as well oh. and um, yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day